Welcome to this QuickBooks 2018 tutorial for beginners on how to set up a budget in uh, QuickBooks 2018 desktop. Uh, so a budget is, um, obviously you know what a budget is. I mean, you're basically setting out, okay, what are the income and the expenses? Now, uh, the important thing to do is, you know, the budgeting process starts now for 2019 as of the time that I'm recording this. Probably should have started a little bit earlier than this. And uh, you basically want to lay out. You say, okay, here's what uh, the income and expenses are going to be. Now, what I always tell my clients, uh, business owners, is that, you know, the, the more important piece, in my opinion, is the expense side of the equation. Uh, because you've got certain goals. You say, okay, I want to accomplish this in my business. We want to sell this much. We want to provide this much service, whatever the case may be. Uh, now, what expenses do we need to support that income? Okay, because, you know, if you're going to grow your business, it's going to take a certain amount of expenses, whether that's people, product, inventory, whatever the case may be. And so you really want to lay that out and uh, try to stick to that budget. Now, the second thing that's really important is reviewing the budget to actual in, you know, I think every single month and oftentimes you do it throughout the month. All right. So for example, you know, in my business, um, we have a weekly management meeting and we're checking our budget to actuals to make sure that we're staying on track. All right. So that's, that's pretty important. All right. So let's get to it. Setting up the budget in QuickBooks 2018. This is the simple part. The harder part is tracking it and making sure you're staying uh, within budget. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to the company drop down menu. Okay. And you're going to see this option here, planning and budgeting. And you can say set up budgets. All right. So you'll see here there is a budget for this sample company file in 2023 and it's already set up. All right. So what we're going to do though is we are going to set up a budget for next year. Okay. And in QuickBooks, it makes it relatively simple to get a lot of these numbers already populated. All right. So create new budget. All right. So begin by specifying the year and type for the new budget. All right, so we're going to say uh, this is 2024, okay, and we'll say next. Okay, so additional profit and loss budget criteria. Uh, we're not going to do it by job or customer. You can, and we're not going to do it by class. We're just going to say no additional criteria. This is just for an overall budget for the business. All right, so now you can create a budget either from scratch where you're going to enter every single number or create the budget from the previous year's actual data. Okay. Now I like to do this because it populates and then you can adjust it. And that way you can see kind of what happened in the prior year. And it's, it, to me, it's a, it's a simpler process. All right. So let's hit finish. All right. So we'll see here that in 2024, it automatically populated all this based on the prior year information. All right. So for example, in 2019, you would do this uh, right at the beginning of the year for 2018 information when the 2018 books are closed. And you don't have to wait till the books are closed because it's going to pull in the monthly information. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go through every single month and you're going to detail out and say, OK, we spent this much this month. Um, I think we're going to spend it again this year and you go through and you adjust the numbers. Okay. So let's say for example, that, uh, fuel, we're going to change this. I like to use round numbers in a budget. So let's say we're going to change this to 200. All right. And we want to just change that across the whole, uh, every single column. All right. You can click this copy across and it's going to copy 200 all the way across. All right. Or you can just clear it. Okay. Clear. Uh, no, we don't want to clear the whole page. Okay. Uh, or you can adjust row amounts. Okay. So starting at the first month, uh, let's see, increase each monthly amount in this row by this dollar amount or percentage. Okay. So let's say that we want to go up by $50 per month. Okay. You'll see now that it's going up to 250, all right? Uh, or if we want to 
uh, let's see, increase each monthly amount in this row uh, by 4%. Okay, you'll see that it's going to go up to 260. All right, so you'll see that you do have some tools here that will allow you to adjust all the way across. All right, so once you go through this process, and of course this video is quick and showing you how to do it, but this could take some time. You really want to make sure you think through each month and the month in the prior year and, you know, what anomalies were there? When does insurance renew? I mean, when do software licenses renew, etc.? When are you going to have these big expenses? And you want to adjust these accordingly. All right. So once you're done, you're going to hit save and then you're going to hit OK. Now, when you go up to reports, I want to show you if you go down to budgets and forecasts and you say budget versus actual. OK, I'm going to show you 2023. Now we could do 2024, but we don't have any actual data in there yet. So let's say next. You can look at the uh, uh, account by month. I'm going to show you once we get in here. Okay, so it's going to show uh, budget to actual. What you can do is go up to this customized report and you can say, okay, we want to do it for the full year, but we just want to look at the total only and we only want to look at the dollar difference. Okay, so if we do that, you're going to see, okay, so the actuals in this sample file, there were no actuals, but this was the budget that was set up and the dollar amount over budget. Okay, or, and this is a report you can run every single month to show your budget versus actuals. Okay, or if we go to uh, reports, we go down to budget and forecast, you can say budget overview. Okay, so for 2024, we can do it by month. Okay, so now we're going to see what our budget is month to month. Okay, so we can see for what we've set up in 2024. We can see all the income and expenses and we can see what our net income is going to be. All right. And you can also, you know, from here, see if this makes sense, review this with, <clears throat> you know, who you need to review it with, if anyone, and make sure that all the numbers are correct. All right. Okay. So once you get that set up, you're going to review your budget to actuals, in my opinion, every single month to make sure everything's still on track. Um, personally, I think it's okay to adjust budgets in a small business month to month because things come up, you're not aware of things, you miss things, uh, you, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you're trying to stay on track. All right. So for more uh, QuickBooks videos and uh, information, head on over to QuickBooks University. Love to have you join us over there where you can get some free videos, plus uh, you uh, get personal support where I answer your QuickBooks questions, whether it's desktop or QuickBooks online, when you do become a member of the QuickBooks University. It's qbuniversity.org.